turn the camera on so you gotta get involved. Yeah. Alright, here's the deal. I went up to Walmart and those of you that watch my videos know, might know I have a Walmart route video that I often do. So I went up to Walmart. As you can see, I'm not wearing my dumpster dive jacket. And uh, I peeked in the first part of the route. And it, the route appears to be primed. It appears to be ripened, ready to be plucked. So let's go have a look at that. Uh, typically, I'll go to Walmart with the camera with me and dressed in the proper clothes and I'll run that route but uh, I wasn't planning on making a video I ran out of tape I was gonna make a video about some of the stuff I sold on Amazon in the free show that I gave away I ran out of tape for my packages so up, that's why I went up to Walmart uh, wasn't planning on making a video like I say I peeked I cheated I peeked without the camera present so uh, I'm gonna go see what it's all about what do you think what's this kids what's this you better get that, Grizz. You better get that. You better... You better get it, Grizz. You better get it, Grizz. You better get it, Grizz. Something I've recently got into is this Activia stuff. It's a probiotic daily. It supports the gut health. It's good for your system, man. I recommend you trying that. You might really like it. They also sell like a yogurt. But this is just a lot easier. It's a liquid yogurt. Just slamming it down one bottle a day, I did it. Alrighty. This coat off. This coat on. Won't you be my neighbor? I really do have to say, Carhartt jackets, they're quite wonderful. I have hammered this zipper 10,000 times on dumpsters. And I'll do it tens of thousands more times probably. I'm just doing it one hand with no leverage, but it's just a proper zipper, you know what I mean? I just can't say enough about Carhartts. Anyways, I like talking about products that I find that are exceptional, and Carhartt is one. I'm not making any money off saying that or not, but I could uh, put like a link in the description and try to make commission. Slime is another one, another product I ran into. I just, just saved my production immensely. Uh, it just saved me so much time and grief. Put that stuff in your tires. And uh, if it gets too bad, you can start carrying an air pump. But I mean, this tire would have been flat, I don't know, what, five months ago or something? <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. I guess the point I'm making about that slime that with how I'm using this, these two wheelers, it's a continual thing. But I will continue to pick up holes, leaks and stuff. It's non-stop, so that's why slime is awesome for me. Actually, if you take the time to repair a tire every time you just pick up a simple nail, I'd be doing it, you know, a couple times a month maybe. Interesting suitcase. Ugh, some sort of bag down there. Shoes looks like they're there too. Oh shoot, that feels like garbage, I think. Uh Lism Company. Those are not bad shoes. Those might be free tail store worthy. What do you think about that? I thought this was gonna be stuffed full of something. It didn't look like garbage, but now that I feel it, I think it's just a bag of garbage, unfortunately. Find a zipper somewhere. It's nowhere. Oh, it's a backpack. Oh, that's a nice backpack. Must find that. Um, well, it's a combination of both actually. Not a bad hat. It's actually clean. Uh, I don't know what that is. Looks like a weird New York symbol. Zoo York. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not a bad hat. It's clean. It doesn't look like it's been worn. Mountain Dew hat. That's not bad. Ah, it's just dirty. Shoot, I'd have kept it. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be better. They do have a nice little vest. Yeah, that's not bad. 
that's actually capable. That's got a nice little hood on it. That's a nice little jacket. I thought it was a vest, it's actually a jacket. I liked it. Shoot, it's got paint on it. Ah! Oh, I tried to make it good. Bummer. Okay. What do you think, ladies? Good pair of shoes, huh? Clean. How's it go from the free tail store pretty quick? It probably will do. Okay, I'm carrying this slime in here tonight because next time I get gas, I'm gonna put it in my storage compartment. These scooters are actually made with storage in mind. You can travel with stuff down here. There's a large compartment under the seat for stuff. But I have my rack sitting on the seat, so I have to take a whole rack off. So next time I fill up with gas, the gas cap's under the seat too. Next time I fill up with gas, I'm gonna put the slime in the compartment along with a small air pump, my fuel bottle. And I ordered two more fuel bottles. So I'm gonna get a whole rig going in there. It's wasted storage area, so I'm gonna stuff, store stuff in there. The necessities, air pump, slime, gas. Got tools in there, of course. But, uh, anyways, I'm sure you're wondering why I had a slime in there. Where can I keep this clean? Um, sit here for now. Trek bicycle exit. <clears throat> Get this leg breaker out of the way. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Mountain trek. Trek. You don't see too many treks thrown in the garbage, I can tell you that. Hopefully, oh, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, it's got a, one of those seats on there, along with a leech. <laughs> Go. Yuck, yuck. Two leeches. That's an interesting seat. That makes me think there's probably not gonna be anything wrong with this frame. Uh, people that bicycle a lot just don't throw away trick frames. Let's see what we're dealing with here before I keep talking. Uh, um, 800. Check 800 Sport, 21 inch, that's a little bike. Uh, no, I guess it's not that little. There's the seat for it, never mind. Huh. It's got a junky seat, junky pedals that are broken. The frame itself looks pretty good. I don't see any bend in the forks. And the bars are loosened. Not the not the neck, but the actual bars. The neck looks good. The frame is straight. I don't see any bends or damage to the frame. The sprockets actually still have nice points on them as well. Um, that almost looks like it just needs tires and it's ready to roll. I mean, everything's there. Hmm, maybe. Uh, no, it's missing this brake. Front, it's missing the brakes. Just the arms for the, with the pads. I like it. Let's keep her. I'm keeping that one. Let's see what the frame's made out of. It's a nice steel too. I like steel frames. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be steel, but uh, if you want to use that to carry anything, 
beside your own weight it's nice to have a nice steel frame and that's not that heavy anyways normally when i find frames bicycles i mean i'll uh, save them until the end of the route or i'll save them until i come back on the way home but uh, that's just the ones that are going to be scrap metal Not sure what the value on this is gonna be, but the name Trek is uh, definitely desirable in the biking world, no matter how old it is, really. Maybe not so much to sell this one, but for my own personal use, a funky little seat. Ready. Let's see the cord peeking out. I think it's a aluminum electric fry pan. Yes it is. It's a nice piece of scrap. Always a welcome sight. It's kind of late out here, so I don't want to make a bunch of noise. But... Shouldn't be too bad. When I make those scrapyard videos, a real common thing is for people to leave comments saying I'm not making that much money with the time I put into it, but I've explained that so many times. <laughs> it makes me nauseous even trying to explain it again on video, let alone to the people who have already heard it so many times. But here goes. <laughs> five dollars seven dollars an hour is what i can make in scrap metal doing this if i went out and worked 12 16 hours a day i could guarantee myself fifty dollars cash it's uh it's just one piece of the pie scrap metal this isn't a scrap metal channel it's a scavenging treasure hunting channel scraps just one little piece of it um it's a lot like what i'm doing here it's a lot like being a waitress or a waiter. Scrap metal is like a base pay, five to seven dollars an hour. And then you're just looking for big tips like that trick bicycle, that hat, those shoes. Just in the short time of making this video. Okay, I'm sure you can extrapolate from there. Another related comment I get a lot is look at it people saying they're retired <laughs> and looking for a hobby this this ain't it i can tell you that that's the radiator I just remember some of the comments I get. People act like I'm making this look like something that's not. You know? 
I never once have ever said anything about making a bunch of money scrap metal if my site would have worked you could have but no one wanted to do that so it's kind of like i'm stuck in a rock in between a rock and a hard place with some viewers because some viewers out there hating on me because i claim that a lot of youtube videos are false the ones that say you can make tons and tons of money doing this or that and it's just typically it's just not true and then there's other people that come on my site acting like i'm the one saying you can make a ton of money doing it <laughs> and they're hating on me so i got people on both ends of the spectrum thinking you can make a bunch of money i say you can't and so they're hating and then there's people over here Assuming I'm saying you can make a bunch of money and you really can't and, and they're hating so it's like what? <laughs> what? Don't get me wrong. There is a fortune to be made in scrap metal uh, Number one you could open your own scrap yard. That's one way to do it Number two is to make contacts like I said earlier and uh, get to know people like electricians and plumbers and heating and air conditioning outfits uh, if you can get lucky enough fortunate enough to get hooked up with some of those people then you can make a bunch of money a constant supply of copper and brass and that kind of stuff air conditioners and that kind of stuff then you can make a bunch of money but that's not what i'm doing this is this is mainly about dumpster diving and the main value in what i do has nothing to do with scrap metal so that's why i changed my name i i just really tired of people acting like this is a scrap metal channel when it's not um i thought changing my name would make a difference but <laughs> There's still people coming on my site saying, coming on my channel saying, oh, you're not making very much money. Well, I, I never claimed. Never once have I claimed I'm making a bunch of money with scrap metal. It is what it is, and that's exactly what it is. And I never once tried to say anything else. I don't know. I think other people, I think commenters sometimes might watch other channels and, and they kind of make it seem like it's some wonderful job. Uh, not having any contacts and finding scrap metal and trash picking and stuff and they make it they imply that they're making tons of money and they're really not maybe a couple hundred dollars a month you know and i think maybe those commenters are coming onto my channel and it's just an over an overspill of what they've been seeing you know but yeah five to seven dollars an hour in scrap metal bottom wrong is what i can do now, if I find a bunch of copper and stuff, that's going to go up. But that's like a big tip, you know. Five to seven dollars an hour is what you can expect doing exactly what I'm doing in Scott Meadow. But, you know, usable things. That's where the real value is at. There's so much usable stuff out here. You know, I mean, if you counted that as income, stuff I put on the curb and have I mean like just I mean look at that it's a brand new purse right there I didn't I didn't scout this dumpster out or nothing I was just talking about that before I pulled up um like this is a brand new purse I, I don't even think it's ever been used <laughs> you know what I mean what's the value of that I mean it might not be a lot of people's style but look at that thing it's totally unused looks like it just came off the store shelf what else is in here? Yeah, if you count this kind of stuff, you could you could say that I make three hundred thousand dollars a year. That's no joke. I mean, I just so much stuff I have absolutely no use for, and it's far more than I could ever even attempt to sell if I if I had a way to sell it. I don't know what's that. I don't even know what that is. It's brand new though. <laughs> is it like a curtain or something? It's got buttonholes on the top here. 
100% polyester. I don't know, it's nice though. It's nice and clean and brand new looking. Whatever it is, some kind of drapery, I don't know. But uh, it's got buttonholes top, tops, on the top side of it. But uh, I'll put that in the Freetail store. Put this bag in the Freetail store. Anyways. Video quality. That's a pillowcase there. It's kind of nice. That also looks unused. Run that through the washer. The value, the uh, quality of the content YouTubers make drastically goes downhill when they have to keep responding to comments that really don't make a lot of sense. So I'll try not to talk about that anymore for the rest of the video. It's one of the more annoying things I've had to deal with. store or not those are not bad pants i'll have to run it through the washer of course but pro player athletic sweat pant deal they're not bad at all but anyways that's the real value of what i'm doing It just seems like some people can watch a video where I find $350 of textbooks and the only thing they can see is <laughs> the $1 of scrap metal I found along with them, you know, it's, just, it's odd. Cast aluminum. Oh, I thought it was the wrong piece when I turned the camera on. Scrap metal. Kind of a neat little guy though. Another comment I see when I make my scrap metal scrap yard videos is people seem to be baffled as to why. I pay for storage units. That's a popular thing. I keep seeing comments saying, "How can you make any money if you're using a, if you're paying for storage units?" Well, <laughs> I don't know if you're just looking at scrap metal or not, but I might have twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff in my storage units, and I pay a total of ninety dollars a month to store it. I don't, I'm not quite sure what logic you're using. Am I supposed to just put it out in the middle of the field somewhere on someone else's land or what what, what would you say to do with twenty thousand dollars worth of inventory I guess kind of what I'm getting to is there's a reason why youtubers stop even looking at their comment sections they would get high blood pressure and hypertension if they dealt with all the comments. <laughs> like uh, I saw in mean, this comment section and someone was saying they figured out what my address is where I live. Well, I mean, <laughs> for the first year or so when I was making these videos, I made my address publicly known to everyone with my eShipity e-commerce website uh, for people to ship me stuff it was an idea for 
for uh, people to sell stuff to size like eBay. It's something I did when I was suspended from eBay. But I had my shipping address right there in plain sight on that website. And people have sent me stuff. But I'm not going to show stuff. Uh, like I just got done saying, you know, I, I, I've just been out here for 25 minutes maybe. And I'm just swimming and crap. Got a bicycle and some purse and clothes and another bike seat and some shoes and some scrap metal. <laughs> I don't want people sending me stuff. That's why I don't do a post office box or my address. But I don't know. Someone sent me an email saying I messed up. Saying I messed up, bro, or something like that. I don't know if that was a threat or what that was, but I don't know. hard telling sometimes what people are trying to say I don't know how that's messing up though people figure out my address I mean my address is 3210 South Thompson Street apartment B8 Springdale Arkansas 72764 I, mean, <laughs> I just don't want people sending me stuff you know just it's not being rude or nothing it's just why would i want people sending me stuff i'm already drowning in a mess of material crap there's so much of it i can't even give it away <laughs> you know but uh, i suppose if you want to send me something i've said this in the past if you want to send me something that like benefits a business you're trying to start like if you got a product i could review it or something like that i could do some stuff like that but uh I just don't want people sending me clothes and stuff and so I'm uh, I'm doing all I can just to get rid of stuff you know <laughs> and I'm not even doing this full-time anymore I'm only dumpster diving for 10 12 hours a week now and it's still an overwhelming amount of stuff but if you want to send me stuff feel free I've never never tried to hide that I mean I don't know I don't know what the big hubbub was about finding my address. It's kind of weird. But anyways. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. I may have just sounded like, like I was being rude. But the, if I really wanted to be rude, what I would do is tell people to send me stuff and then act fake <laughs> you know oh thanks for this uh new hat or whatever you know i only found three dozen of these this month you know that's just <laughs> i'd have to be fake you know what i mean i just it's not my style uh, i I would uh, come off as unappreciative and I'd come off as a goon. People sent me stuff that I don't need. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what would be really rude. <laughs> Someone take the time to send me something and I'd sit there. On I didn't have to. I did have to sit there on camera and lie about how much I like something, or I'd tell the truth and be like, "I don't need this," you know. Why? I don't need this at all, you know. So that's what I want to avoid. <laughs> if you would like to send me stuff, feel free. Uh, the only stuff that's gonna make it on camera though is stuff that benefits you. As in, if you're trying to promote your business or company, if you'd like to have me advertise a product for you and maybe do a review. Stuff that promotes uh, you and benefits you. Because I simply just don't need anything. No. If you want to support my channel, My PayPal tip jar link is down in the description. Don't get me wrong. 
I accept tips. <laughs> Like I said earlier, if you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I have a whole storage unit where I put stuff in and just give it away for free to people, you know. I suppose I could do that if you wanted to send stuff to me. I could put it in a retail store. I could do that, but it wouldn't make much sense because you'd be losing out on shipping costs and stuff. Alrighty then. I don't think that was too dirty. Alright, well, this is gonna be the last dumpster actually. Well, it's probably gonna be the last dumpster. Uh, there's two more I wanna check. Probably won't be anything else, it might be, but let's see. This is why I'll go back and pick up bicycles last when they're just scrap metal. Because you can see they start to get in my way. Well, I guess I kind of got off on a tangent in this video. If you ever wonder why those big YouTubers out there never, ever, 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 ever reply to comments, that's why. There's just so much hate out there. <laughs> it really gives them heart, heart palpitations to even have to look at it after a while. Um, that might not make a lot of sense, but. You gotta think, these YouTube creators, you know, they're putting a, a lot of time into making these videos for people, you know, and to read a uh, hundred comments and have ten of them be rude and hateful and stuff, that's no good. I mean, that's, that's that's almost worse. And I heard Katy Perry talking about that on American Idol. I think it was Katy Perry. She's saying the worst thing is is you scroll down your comment section and 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 you read nine of them. Nine of them are really nice, nice comments, and uh, and the tenth one is just a energy vampire, just a hater. <laughs> If they were all terrible, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's like you start reading them, and they're like, oh, good job, good job, good job, thanks, this, that, good job, good job. I hate you, this, this terrible, old, awful, you suck, you know. It's, <laughs> that's just not something anyone wants to do, but uh, I thought I'd give you a little insight on that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the show and my little rant, and as always, thanks for watching. Ended the video too quick. Let's see what I'm dealing with here. Got a nice tie down down there. Oh, this looks nice too. Appears to be functional. I usually scrap those though because I just don't trust them. Lots of times I'll take them to the scrapyard and go hold them aside, you know, and inspect them. Oh, that's nice. Doesn't look like nothing wrong with those. This is a medical equipment store, uh, shop, whatever you want to call it. This is the place where I found. All those oxygen machines. I just scrap all the medical stuff. I'm never gonna mess around. Yeah. 
This belongs to the bingo hall. <laughs> I've taken out several cash registers out of here. I just upgraded her stuff not too long ago. Let's see here. I hear a forkle in there. Well, the reason I turned the camera back on is because. these big stainless steel things over here and I think I was gonna run into all that stuff <laughs> but uh, I've scrapped some of these before when it was clear they were thrown away it wasn't this place it was a place that this place bought a long time ago at a different location and sometimes they throw these out look at these things giant stainless steel canisters and they're pretty easy to take apart too. Take that off of there. And you take off some valves and stuff. And there's a hole down in there so the scrap yards can see they're empty. And those are real valuable. They're sitting back here with some other equipment. Next to the dumpster. They could get someone in trouble putting stuff to the dumpster like this. Because someone might come along and snatch these up, you know. Like right now there's probably a camera on me. But those are valuable little boogers. They're super heavy. They're nice. I want to say 75 pounds or so. For the big ones. No, no. 40, 40 or 50 pounds stainless steel. It's nice. Okay, now thanks for watching. I'm not touching those. I was just showing off for video purposes.